what is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and i feel like i have not done a video in a really long time but i'm here like i said back again with another one okay but before we get into that i do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so go ahead right now subscribe to my channel don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time i post a video and yeah <laughs> let's just jump right into it as you can see from the title you guys are coming along with me on my very first solo road trip i am currently driving to st louis and i am super excited about that so yeah let's do it i got me some chips i got water i got juice I, I don't even eat mcdonald's i am sitting outside of mcdonald's right now because i i'm about to get on the road i had to give me something to eat because i'm starving this is literally the first time ever i <laughs> fill my gas tank up since i've had my car like i'm so cheap and my gas was literally on e so i had to fill my car up from e to f okay and i it broke me down a little bit because it was 45 dollars, but that's not even bad for this buick you know i was assuming it was gonna be about 70 dollars, and that was gonna break me down even more but it wasn't it was 45 dollars and um 12 gallons so that was pretty cool um this uh this drive is about to be four hours i'm terrified not even going to lie but we got this god got me and i hopefully my full tank of gas make, takes me all of the all the way there and I don't have to stop. Sorry to sorry to the fact that I'm looking crusty because I just got up and I had to go get an oil change. I need to get my tires rotated. And I need a new battery in my keys because it kept telling me to redo my battery. But we about to get on the road, okay, guys? Let me go ahead and open up this McDonald's because I'm starving. And then I'm going to just eat on the road as we go, okay? So I'll see you guys on the e-way. Peace. Ordering 20 
eat chicken nuggets from McDonald's because I was hella starving. And I doubt I even ate 10 of the nuggets. Like, it's hella nuggets up in here. So, it's looking like if I get hungry again, I'm going to be eating some cold chicken nuggets. The fries instantly got cold. I'm looking at this um, Minute Maid slushy though. Like, damn, I should have got me one of them. A little sand just went past. On top of the fact that I love my car because I just got an oil change and I just got my tires rotated and I'm just set like my little my little Buick my little coupe I call her coupe because her color is copper. If anybody tell you anything else that ain't even a reason <laughs> if that ain't even a reason I'm not lying. It's my I call my car coupe because my car the color of it is copper. I actually the full name is Benz Coupe because in reality in my mind one day in life I will own a Benz Coupe and I'm gonna be pushing that motherfucker around the city by that time i'll probably be living in another city but you never really know <laughs> okay so yeah guys i will touch back with you guys when i am i think i gotta go to champagne i saw a thing that says champagne um and i saw another sign that says something else i'm probably not gonna stop because i just want to get there and get it over with it says i'll get there about three o'clock it is 11 30 right now so now that i think about it i may have been driving for almost an hour actually um maybe about 45 minutes Ooh, i feel like it's about 45 minutes almost an hour that i've been driving but it's all good i'm not tired i'm full I'm gonna cut this air conditioner down because I'm a little cold, but watch it. As soon as I turn it off, I'm gonna get high and then I'm gonna be mad. And I don't want the window to turn the window down because then I'm gonna get out. I don't like the sound of the wind blowing. That's just, I mean, you know, it's a lot happening when your window is down. I don't wanna deal with it, but yeah. But I just pray for safe travels. I pray for safe travels back. I pray that I, I'm safe and God watches over me this entire trip because this is gonna be my starting point of me traveling by myself, going on road trips and things like that. My next one, I'm gonna drive up to Detroit, Michigan, or maybe I'll go to Wisconsin Dells. I don't really know, but I'm gonna get my little boot being cool going and I'm gonna drive around the city and then, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy, but then eventually I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna drive like six, seven hours and stuff like that to go to different places and then one day i will drive across the country on y'all last oh it's gonna be cool Ooh, it's gonna be cool <laughs> it's literally nobody on the expressway dog like it's literally just me like this is kind of weird like this is gonna be texas chainsaw massacre <laughs> i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying god got me like i said i pray that God has me safe travels. I'm healthy. I'm, I don't get tired in any kind of way. I don't hit a, a raccoon or a deer or a cat or any kind of wild ass shit like that that'll run into the street. I'm in Yale. Peace. Hi guys. I have officially been driving for one hour and six minutes and well maybe not six minutes but <laughs> one hour and guess what guys i'm tired i'm tired of driving maybe it's because i was up like hella early i've been up since um, seven and i didn't go to sleep until like one in the morning last night so i'm hella tired well i'm not hella tired but i'm just tired because I don't know it's just i'm driving it's like sh nothing you know <laughs> i'm looking at all greenery which is beautiful don't get me wrong but damn though right damn i'm tired i am i'm very tired actually i don't want to drink my red bull until i'm at least two hours in but yeah it's not making the dent like the timing is not making a dent at all uh, oh. It did say it was going to be a four hour drive though So I guess I got an hour out the way <laughs> So fucking what I just want to snap my fingers And I want to be there Because damn I ain't complaining though y'all I ain't complaining This is happening I'm going It's, hap it's happening okay And I'm going to have a great fucking time Effing time I keep cursing y'all I curse a lot 
my sister is calling me again, y'all. She just so concerned with my whereabouts. She love me. She be acting like she don't. So I'm gonna catch check back with y'all in a second. Let me talk to this lady. Hella cars all of a sudden. 
I smell food or am I hungry? I don't know. I either I kind of smell barbecue, but I don't really smell barbecue. I don't know what I smell, but I smell something, some kind of food. I smell it. So I cannot wait to lay down. I might take a nap and get myself up. Get pretty. In 10 miles, take exit 28 to merge onto I-70 West toward Kansas City. Okay, thanks, Siri. So clearly I need to get over. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I need to, I don't know why the GPS is taking me that way, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Do people even say that though? Like, I'm lame, but I'm cool as fuck though. I do what I want. I do what I want. Y'all know that song? <laughs> I don't really know the name of that song either, but I know they say they do what they want. But, alright guys, I'll see you on my destination whenever I get there because, yeah, peace. Again yeah, guys, I am back dropping in just so you guys can see that this truck here is driving on my asshole. And I don't understand why. Oh yeah, y'all, you better get your ass over. Yeah, yeah. Getting that ass straight up on camera. I ain't playing around. <laughs> morning well it's not the well, it's kind of the morning it's 11 45 but hi this is day two of me being in st louis day one i got here and i went to sleep and i really just chilled out or whatever just um kind of felt like it was good being out of chicago for a little bit so i literally just was laid up watched tv i ate popeyes i watched um the rest of all american and then i watched i started season three of the um manifest I'm not too sure if I like it too well because I fell asleep on it, but whatever. Anyway, today is day two. Of course, I'm headed into the city because I stay outside of St. Louis. So I'm headed into the city. It's about a 20 minute drive or whatever. And then I'm going to- um At the light, use the left lane to turn onto South St. Peter's Parkway. Okay, thanks Siri. But um, I am going to go into the city and check out the arch. Turn left the famous arch and check out get some foodie and all of that good stuff and yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along with me okay <laughs> so i'll see you guys then <laughs> hey guys i'm back of course so it's so weird being in another city and driving like on the expressway and stuff like you really are like super cautious like i'm so used to chicago use the I left two lanes to continue onto south first capital drive thanks siri but i know how to um finesse the the lanes and the expressway and the, the streets and the lights and all of that good stuff when i'm in my city when i'm in another city i'm like oh shit like i gotta make sure i drive like everything perfect everything is on point because i don't want to end up <laughs> i don't want to end up in another state or continue in another city. straight i know okay but anyway i don't want to end up in another city and i don't want to end up lost or all out of my way and then i run out of gas or some wild shit like that so i'm really cautious right now i'm low-key probably driving 10 and 2 because i'm like i just want to be sure i know where i'm going i'm doing exactly the right thing to do i'm not going to be wilding out driving like a man like i normally do in my city because i can control my i i don't know i feel like in my own city or you probably can relate but in your own city you feel like you can um you control the streets 1.7 miles Take a slight right turn to merge onto I-70 East. Okay, thank you. But, um, like I got my GPS going nonstop because I don't know where I'm going. Of course, that's typical in a new city, but I just feel like <laughs> when in fact, you just take, be cautious and do everything you're supposed to do the right way because in your own city, as you, like I said, you guys probably can relate because you're in your own city. You feel like you can control the street. The street isn't controlling you. It probably don't make sense, but if you, if you get it, the comment below and tell me like you get it. Like you, you've been driving in your own city for long enough to know, okay, this is how it really goes. Like, this is what it really is. It ain't like this, but this is really what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to stop and let you guys know that I feel like I'm hella cautious. And um, I'm currently in the city of St. Charles. 
I'm still headed there. Texas says takes me about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this drive, get some gas, get food. And yeah, I'll tap back in with you guys when I'm in one mile. To, take a slight right turn to merge onto I-70 East. I'm gonna touch back in to when I make it to the restaurant. Maybe I'll try some new food today. Let's see. <laughs> Peace. Alright guys, I'm back and I finally made it down to the arch or whatever, but I realized that I needed some gas So <laughs> please excuse these people <laughs> But I realized that I needed some gas and that um, I'm starving like my stomach is literally in my back So I need to go get me something to eat and then I'm gonna go check out the arch and do all my tourist kind of stuff Okay, but I think I'm gonna go to this place. I roll past it's called the sugar fire I'm not sure what to take from that, but we're about to see <laughs> okay so also i realized that the gas is like hella cheaper down here it's like a dollar cheaper so it's like the the cheapest i've seen i think in chicago was like 359 if i'm not mistaken and it's literally like two motherfucking um two 294 so again that's cheaper than chicago even in the suburbs, like even in the suburbs, I think the suburbs in Chicago is like 329 or some shit like that. I don't know, I may be tweaking, but yeah, it's definitely cheaper down here. I was able to get $20 and I got seven gallons, seven gallons, $20 in Chicago. I think I may have got like a little under six. I don't know, but I like, don't care about that. <laughs> Y'all don't care about that. I am, um, yeah, I'm headed to the sugar fireplace. I'll check back in when I get there. This is the place, guys. I am going to Sugar Fire Barbecue. I don't know what kind of food they sell, but I'm just gonna cross the street even though I don't have a red light. Oh, it's cool on the inside. I'm just figuring out how to get inside of here. So this is what it looks like. Oh, they got some sweet ass chicken. Might talk to me because obviously I'm not from here. So Alright guys, 
So this is my first time eating this. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it, okay? So these are the potatoes. This is what it looks like. It's really good actually, I like it. And I'm wondering, I know I taste the ranch a little bit, but not as much as I expected it to. And there's something else in there that I cannot remember what the lady said. I'm gonna have to ask her again. I should have got a milkshake now that I'm looking at it. And they have dessert, it looks like they have pie. But these are extra cool right here. These are all like soda pop tops that they have stuck to the wall. Super cool, I like that. I'm here now about to try the shrimp beans. I'm not really a big fan of the, the onions in here or the block or the, like I think it's like sauerkraut or something like that. I'm not really a big fan of that, but we're gonna see. Good. Now this lemonade though, I'm wondering if this lemonade is handmade because it's like fire, fire. On top of the fact that this is my first time ever recording myself inside of a restaurant eating food in a place that I've never been before. Like, how is it so simple for me to do it here where I am now but I can't do this back at home? Probably because I think that I'm gonna run into somebody that I know. I don't know. But stream beans are really good. And the potatoes are definitely really good. I want to kind of figure out how to make this at home. Those potatoes are fire. They had two kind of potatoes. Actually, they had this one with the ranch. Ugh, I cannot. I think she said ranch and bacon. I'm not sure. And then the other one was like ribs, potato cheesy ribs. It was cheesy potatoes with I think rib chips in there. That sounded flame too. So this here is the jalapeno sausage so they gave me i got really i can tell them to just give me what they recommend so whatever she gave me i'm pretty much cool with that and if i don't eat it i'll just take it back to the place with me and then probably eat it for dinner or something i don't know This is what it looks like. It looks like it's cheese on the inside. I'm not really a big fan of that. You guys see it? So, let's check this out, see if it's good, sir. Mm. I mean, it's not really anything crazy. But it's good though. This seems like a spot where you like come to on the regular when you're kind of like like Chicago, like maybe like the, the Shake Shack or something like that, or something similar to that. Just kind of like a place like that. Hmm. Seems like it. It seems like they're busy like all the time. I love those potatoes. They are so good. I'm gonna try this brisket though. See what this is hidden for. Let's check it out. You guys wanna see what it looks like? And this is what it looks like. This is the brisket. See it. So shiny, so juicy, so perfect. Check it with the barbecue sauce. See how it tastes. Oh, it's really good. It's a lot of fat though. Both. It is good. I can say that my, my 
my brother-in-law makes the best biscuit I have ever had in my entire life. This is good though. beautiful people i have left the place i am happy that when i paid my meter i paid it for exactly 48 minutes because the option was like 44 and then 48 it was so weird normally i you would think it'd be 45 and 50 but whatever i paid for 48 minutes it was a dollar and 45 you know the pay meters you know back in chicago those little pay boxes or whatever i paid it was actually a dollar and 45 cent <sighs> why am i out of breath i don't know i'm full i'm stuffed but yeah, the place was the, really good. The food was really good. The shrimp beans wasn't the best. And it's hilarious because I went back up there to tell the lady because she told me to give her a thumbs up if she like it. If I like it, I think she may be, I don't know, she part of the cooking team or whatever. And I was like, well, everything was so good. And then I was like, but the shrimp beans, uh, <laughs> they wasn't all that. But this lemonade though. This lemonade is flame. I, um... Wish I should I should have asked her is this homemade lemonade or what? But whatever the dude they be guys just be so thirsty talking about <laughs> where you from? I'm like Chicago. They like oh shit that's where I'm trying to go. That's where I'm trying to go. Come back soon. <laughs> Come back soon. I'm like all right thanks. But anyway those potatoes though. So it was cheesy potatoes and ranch and turkey like flame 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 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to remember that well obviously I'm, i can remember it now because it's on the camera and i gotta record it but <sighs> i'm stuffed but i'm gonna try to make that at home i was like i'm gonna make that at home she's like you better <laughs> okay okay auntie that was like auntie barbara or whatever she was she looked like she hella funny hella cool or whatever y'all know <laughs> y'all know y'all don't know aunties i'm talking about like the older auntie that's been through shit in life so that's your low key your great auntie in the in the sense because <laughs> i'm an auntie and i ain't old so yeah so, well she not really she wasn't even that old but she wasn't young like me but y'all get the gist of what i'm saying so now i'm gonna move on to the next spot one of the people in the restaurant told me that i should try to view the blues museum so i'm gonna google that real quick and see if it's open if not i'm gonna go check out the arch because it's looking like it's about to rain and if i get rained on i'm gonna be pissed okay i ain't got no umbrella i got on a dress i'm gonna be wet as hell out here so let me get to that and i'll see you guys there peace off real quick at this arch or whatever and then i am going to get the fuck out of downtown <laughs> for real okay guys so this is where the cardinals play this is so I'm not going here. I'm just going to walk past it so you guys can see it. Let's go this way first. See that? This is cool. I actually wish I was going in there now. Actually, that's exactly where I should. I wonder if they have like restaurants where you can like sit and eat. But I'm going to go up closer actually. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Why not? Right? <laughs> there he goes. One card in away. I don't really understand baseball that much, so I'm not gonna act like I have a supporting team, but go Cubs. <laughs> o 10. So let me show you guys what I'm 
let's check it out guys let's check it out i don't know if i can go up in here but i'm going in here anyway it's really about to rain like look at this so what I'm, it says it's supposed to rain by two today so what i'm gonna try to do is get everything i need done by in the next 20 minutes so i don't get rained on but we're about to see here still but it's like here you go you guys see up in there that's where you sit in the stands let me see if i can get zooming in right up in there that's the stands wow i wish i could get inside of here that would be so cool drunken fish okay just to check it out this is probably as far as i'm gonna go guys because i still want to go over there to the arch and see but i wanted you guys to see this part up here too oh they got a nice little tv in the top this area is called the barn the shark bar farmed prairie what prairie farms oh that's what the meat and stuff all of that good stuff but this is what it looks like I'm assuming this is how you get inside of the stadium, unless it's like a ticket, uh, maybe down there too. But yeah, this is where the Cardinals play baseball. <laughs> I feel like I know so much now all of a sudden. But let's go check out the arch, guys. I'll see you guys there. There it is. Okay, beauty. So I made it back to my car after showing you guys the Cardinals baseball stadium. And just like that, I knew I said it was going to start pouring down raining. And it literally started pouring down raining. Like, first, I actually walked past my car to go over to the arch and check that out up close. But it literally started raining. I thought about it after I got to the next block. I was like, you know what? It's lightning. So let me turn back around because I ain't got no jacket. I got sandals on. I got on this loose ass dress. So I'm like, let me just turn around and sit in my car until it passes. It, it says it's going to pass on the weather, on the little weather app. It just says it's supposed to be right here at the two o'clock hour. So hopefully by 2 10, it stopped raining. But then it's like wet as hell and that's going to blow me too. I'm hoping the sun instantly comes back out after it starts raining. Stop raining. But I don't know. Look, y'all hear it? Look at this. It's like pouring raining. Like, oh my God. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, I did not make it to the arch because I sat in the car for 10 minutes waiting on this goddamn rain to pass and it did not pass and now it's saying that it's supposed to rain in the three o'clock hour as well 80 percent chances of raining and if y'all know like i know that rain is not no fucking joke and it ain't gonna stop raining no time soon and i'm not about to sit in this car for an hour waiting on this goddamn rain to pass just to fucking take a picture and look at the arch in a quarter mile turn right to merge onto i-64 west thank you but um yeah so it's pouring down raining i see the cardinals where the cardinals play i see the arch i guess i just have to come back another time but i i mean i wish i could have got up close to the arch but i couldn't but i guess that me was i was still able to see it so i guess it still doesn't make a difference i mean it does make a difference i'm not even gonna front front and front my move i actually wish i would have got the fuck up earlier in the day or in the morning i wish i would have got up in the morning to go see it because i was looking forward to it but i guess it is what it is maybe before i leave go past this light then use the right lane to merge onto i-64 like, what are y'all doing like people can't drive every fucking one don't make no sense but uh yeah so maybe i'll get up early in the morning and come up here but it's hard to say because i'm kind of i'm not staying in like the downtown area of st louis so it may be a little bit harder for me to do that i don't know guys i don't know i'm kind of upset 
at the fact that it's fucking raining. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm upset, but <laughs> it's all good. I'm trying to keep my peace, keep it positive. And, In 14 yeah, miles, take exit 25 to merge onto I-270 like, North toward Chicago. It still was like so worth it to get out of the, get out of Chicago for a little bit. And I have enjoyed my time here. I do have to go back home tomorrow. I promised my niece that I will see her. Me and my nephew that I will come straight out there when I get into the city after this extra long drive. Oh, they have a St. Louis Aquarium. Oh, that would have been cool. I should have checked and seen if that was open. Oh, them tickets probably expensive to sell at Union Station. That's a train station and an aquarium. What? How that makes sense? There's hella cars in there. It looked like it's closed too. That looked lit as fuck though. But uh, yeah. I'm headed back to my place. I'm hella tired so I'm probably finna take a nap and um, chill the fuck out. Hopefully I run past like a liquor store or something. Give me some wine or whatnot. Pops of bubbly. And hang out. See you guys later.
so we are about to see. I'll check back with you guys in an hour. Peace. Whoever is watching this, beauties, handsome fellows, <laughs> he, she, her, they, or him. Um, I am back in Chicago. I mean, not in Chicago. I'm tweaking. Don't give me the lie. I am in Illinois, but I only been driving for 30 minutes. That was kind of weird to me. Um, I guess it'll take no time to get from St. Louis to Illinois, but I still got a whole three and a half hours to almost four hours to go. So I still got to get to Chicago. But I am in Illinois, that took no time. I don't know what route it's taking me on, but I don't think this is the same route I came. Which is fine. I just, I don't know what I'm saying y'all, but when I saw that welcome to Illinois sign, that kind of threw me off because I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer than that. So that took literally 30 minutes to get to Illinois. Now it's about to take almost three hours and 45 minutes to get to Chicago. So. I'll see you guys again. In two miles, continue on to I-2. What is up, guys? So, I have been driving for about two and a little under two and a half hours. I have a little under two hours left to go. And my energy level is not low, but it's not as high as it was an hour ago all this goddamn construction i'm over here on one lane and people are going like i don't know i'm making I'm, i don't know i'm not making it up but i mean i am over here in one lane and they are not going the speed limit so there's that um but yeah i'm just checking back in with you guys because i have under two hours left it's i am making some great timing it said i was going to get there at 2 25 now it's saying I'm going to get there at 412 so I am beating the GPS what I want to do is see if I can get there at like 405 or something like that I'll take 410 but like 405 4 o'clock that'll be crazy I beat the timer by 25 minutes but we'll see how that goes with these goofy ass one lanes and people not driving the speed limit so I'll check back in with you guys maybe I'll have an hour left to drive and we'll touch bases with that okay I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah, I beat the time or whatever and I have 41 minutes left until I get to my destination 
41 40 minutes and 42 miles so that's not bad i am my back is killing me my neck is killing me my body is killing me i'm gonna take the nicest bath i would like a full body massage i may have to give me like a spa a spa treatment or a spa something god damn it because i am tagged i'm tagged your head let me get up from these people i love the fact that these people been getting the fuck out of my way i mean i'm sorry i gotta stop cursing but they have really been getting out of my way like they see me coming up and they just move over to the lane and i just be saying thank you every single time they can't hear me say thank you but i be saying it though <laughs> i be like oh thanks <laughs> get the hell up out of my way okay i'm trying to get there on that i'm get there at 401 so i'm definitely gonna get there at four o'clock or a little bit before four o'clock which is dope because I'm ready to stop driving, okay? <laughs> so I'll see y'all again in about 15 minutes, maybe. It's say 30, it's say 40 minutes. I may just take myself all the way and then check in when I get there, or I may do about 20 minutes out. I don't even know, but if I come back, cool. If I don't come back, oh well, that's cool too. Y'all know I made it when I checked back in. These one lane ass things, they be killing me with this construction. Huh. <sighs> As you can see, I'm slowing down and I gotta do a one lane. Jesus Christ. This is the third time I've had to do this. This one lane shit is killing me. It, it's like, what the hell is the purpose behind this? Ain't nobody even out here fucking working. They don't look like nothing wrong with the goddamn street. Like, what in the fuck? But all right, y'all. It's at 39 minutes. I'll check back in with y'all if I get tired. I'm tired as hell. I mean, I'm really, I'm not really tired. My, the right side of my body is, like, aching. That's really it. I think it's because I drive with my right arm and I drive with my right leg. Of course, we all do. But, yeah. That's about it, guys. So, I'll tap back in soon. Peace. I finally made it after my super long drive and look who it is. This pretty Ooh. little lady right here. Say hi, Nai Nai. Hi. And there you have it, guys. This is That was the longest drive of my life. Solo road trip, just me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Peace out. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>